Okay, so problem 28 is number spiral diagonals. So what we need to do here is create a pattern like this where the red numbers are the ones we're interested in and we basically add up all the red numbers um, and we need a spiral that is 1001 by 1001. So I'm going to take 1001, 1001, I'm pretty sure that means like 1001 long, 1001 high. It's not saying like up to 1001, hence the by. So yeah, it's going to be a pretty big one. So the way I'm going to do this is um, rather than actually trying to create a spiral and then like doing whatever, there's a pattern to this so you can see the numbers we're interested in. Um, we've got one, then we miss one, then there's a three. Then we miss one, then there's a five, then we miss one, then there's a seven, then we miss one, then there's a nine, and then now we miss three, and then we miss three again, and then miss three again, and so on. And then next time we'd miss five. So you can see like there's a pattern of four. Um so it stays like the same gap for four, and then the gap increases by two. So we're sort of gonna have like two counters going at the same time. And it's gonna be a bit scrappy, but it should work, so Let's get it up. So what we're going to do, we're going to say... Um, so we need to know how many numbers we need, which is 1001 times by 1001, since we're going to fill the spiral. So we're going to say um, 4 in range 1001 squared. Now, n is going to obviously be our number in the spiral, so we're going to need some counters. So first of all, we're going to define these. So um, we're going to have gap size. We're just going to start out at one, and then we're going to have um, we'll just call it the four counter. It's going to be equal to four when we start. So we're going to say. If four counter is not equal to zero, um, sorry, our gap size. Uh, how are we going to do this? So what we want to do, we want to ha have our. So we want to say like count one and miss one, which our gap size should tell us. Um I'll just comment this. And count this etc until we get to um four counter which will tell us to increase our gap size. Um so we're gonna need three numbers I think. A number that tells us whether or not we're counting this number, and a number that keeps track of our gap size. So, um, actually, this can be a true or false, I believe. Is it? No, it's not. It's going to be. A, we'll just call it a counter. It's going to equal zero to start with. Okay, so here's what's going to happen. We're going to say. If counter, and um, this is going to start at zero, we don't want it to, we want to start at one. So if counter is equal to zero, we also need a total, um, total equal zero. So if the counter is equal to zero, then the number is going to be counted. And then so what is the total? Oops. This equals um, n. Now, if counter is zero, then we need to reset our counter to our gap size. Counter equals gap size. If it's not equal to zero, um, elif counter not equal to zero. Then we need to say counter minus
minus equals one. Now, what this will do, um, I may as well print total at the end, um, and we'll just run this and see what it does. This doesn't get the answer, it's quite a bit off, but we may as well run it and just see where we're at. So, what this will do is add up, I believe, every other number. Um, in fact, what I could do is say print here um, total print. Uh, actually, we just want, we want to print n to see what got there. Here too. Say, um, we'll just say for in range 15 for now. So you see, so what we're hoping for here is this counts every other number, so it counts, um, it counts 1, it doesn't count 2, it counts 3, it doesn't count 4, it counts 5, it doesn't count 6, so it does do every other number. Now, what we need to do is include a way to increase our gap size when our four counter um, gets there. So our four counter needs to tick down every time our gap size is used, I believe. Uh, it's every time the gap size is reset, so it should be here. So four counter minus equals one. Now we need to say at the end if four counter is equal to zero, gap size plus equals two, and four counter is reset. Um, and this might actually work. So let me just. Oops. I'm pretty sure this is going to work. So. I think we might have the answer here. Save that, run it. So we get 6681690. Now our answer, and um, you can see it here is 669. Um, so we're pretty close. I suspect our limit, uh, our range, is slightly wrong. Since we seem to be like a thousand and one squared out, um, we're slightly short. So if I just make this range one bigger, do we get the right answer? And it looks like we do. Um, six six nine one se one seven one zero zero one, and yeah, that's our answer. So there you go. That's how you do it. Um, basically, just keeping track of counters that take over and tell you when to count numbers and when to skip numbers. So yeah, if you were stuck, hopefully this helps. Um, thanks for watching, I'll see you on the next video.